So there's no secret that I love Pokemon. I've made a whole lot of cakes, cupcakes, treats, and I've even already made a Butterfree treat, but I really wanted to turn them into a cake. So here we go, my Butterfree cake. I always loved the Orange Island episodes of Pokemon, so when I decided to make a Butterfree cake, I went with the Orange Island design. Now to start this, I drew my Butterfree on a piece of parchment paper. And I probably spent more time drawing this than I did actually baking, because baking just meant opening a box of cake, adding in eggs, water, and oil, putting it in the pan. I Gosh, it was just mindless. <laughs> but I actually took a lot of time to draw this. So I cut out my drawing and placed it on top of two sheet cakes, and then I just cut them out using a paring knife. You guys remember Tracy from the Orange Island episodes? He had a Meryl. He had a Meryl. It's like a water version of a Pikachu, so... God, it was so cute. I was so jealous. Now I took some buttercream and I just spread it out into the middle of the cake. And then I just sandwiched it between another layer of sheet cake. And after I shaped, iced, and crumb coated this cake, I kind of had no idea <laughs> of what I wanted to do. Um, so I decided to top it with a piece of fondant that was shaped like Butterfree's wings. And I wanted to make sure that I got all of Butterfree's wing details, so I used a veining fondant tool and just marked it. So it just had all of those little butterfly creases. Then I moved on to the four wings. Now Butterfree's wings are lined in black, so I thought it'd be cool to cover the sides of the cake with black fondant. And then I just took my paring knife and cut off all of the excess. Now there is a lot of detail that goes into the four wings. Now I used my drawing as a stencil to cut out all of the pieces, and then I used it again to make sure that all of those pieces were in the right spot. Have you ever caught a butterfly and that shiny, like, iridescent dust comes off on your hands? You're not supposed to, like, touch it because that's what gives them the ability to fly, I heard. Um, but I remember I used to do that because I liked it. I was little, and I, apparently I was a monster. I wanted that sort of shine to be on my butterfly wings, so I took some pearl luster dust and a little bit of vodka and just started painting it on with a paintbrush. Now I'm gonna create some butterfly veins with some black icing. Now if you notice, I'm using a dotted technique and that's because I don't know how to create a single straight line without messing it up. I can't, I can't do it. So we're doing the dotted technique because it looks more stylized and nobody knows that it's you actually trying to hide something that you can't do. You know, I've made three different butterfly cakes and every single time I found the process really soothing. Now Butterfree's head and body was really easy to mold. I just took two pieces of purple fondant and placed them into a little circle dome mold. It's just two circles. You push them together, then you're done for the day. You can go home, get some rest, come back, refresh tomorrow morning to work. Or you can continue working. Wait. This is what happens when you don't write down the script, you just continue talking. And I always thought that his almond eyes were so sad looking. He's got a really cute snout, and, but his hands are like this, you know, and it makes it look like he's unsure of himself. Why are you unsure, buddy? You're looking fabulous. You see those wings? I'm really, really proud of how this came out. I mean, there are Pokemon cakes and there are probably Butterfree cakes, but have you ever seen an Orange Island Butterfree cake? No. No, you haven't. Let's see what you said on Instagram. Baba Law says, The best Pokemon cake. I follow her on Instagram. She's got really cool hair and her kids are adorable. They're guapo. Well, this cake was created December 2016. <laughs> Remember when we used to hate on 2016 and 2017? was the real train wreck. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook so you know exactly when something is being created because the video might be posted two years later. So I'm curious, what do you love as much as I love Pokemon? Actually, you know what? I love Disney. I kind of really like Pokemon. I don't know if it's like the same amount of love, but I I guess I do love it too. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to figure this out. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye.